Now, let's look at the Red Cross. They got their branding up there, that's fine. But what I don't love is it says Giving Day, Match Goal, Giving Day is here, double my donation. Everybody wants to know when you write them, why are you writing to me, why should I care? We know why they're writing because there's something called Giving Day. What does Giving Day matter to me? I would introduce Giving Day later. Nobody knows what that is. It's not compelling. I should give because it's a day to give? No, we give to fund outcomes. If they led with a need, it would have been better and I would have, the, the one thing I do like about this is that my eyes are watching this like moving heart. So it's very clear that there's a goal to match. It's still though, I'm watching it doesn't mean I'm gonna do anything. I'm gonna go delete it. What would I do instead? I'd say cut the video and the image. Just don't lead with it. Start with, hi Danielle, or Danielle, comma, use my name. Instead, we're starting with the 10th annual American Red Cross Giving Day is officially here, comma, friend. They know my name. I've given them my blood. They should have used my name. Additionally, do you see that we're starting with a one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five, a six, a six, we're starting with a six, there are six sentences, or it looks like six lines in this first email. You should never start an email with six lines in the first paragraph. What is the point of the first sentence? To get them to read the second sentence. I'm not going to read anything. I'm not even gonna get past the image. Should I get past the image? I'm not gonna read this paragraph. Plus, it's not even about me. They just told me giving days here as if I should know and I should care. I will say the good thing is they used bolding. They bolded the wrong thing. Let's no. say I don't change any of their copy. What should they have bolded? This. Generous supporters, people like you, turn their compassion into action to help families impacted by disasters big and small. Don't like the sentence, too long, too clunky, it's not easy to read, I don't even understand what the full meaning is, but if they're gonna bold something, it should bold something that has my name in it, or you, something that matters. Bold the compliment. What should have been done? It should have been like this. Hi Danielle, comma, I'm excited to share something with you, period. Today is the day you can make a difference in the life of a family who's been destroyed by a natural disaster. Now, I'm taking it back. Don't say make a difference, that's conceptual. Today is the day you can save, that would be much better. You can save a family that's had their house obliterated by disaster, something specific, something the donor cares about. Should have been started that way. I don't care that it's giving day so much as that today is the day I can do something meaningful. After that first sentence that I just threw out into the air, I would say something like, Here's what's going on, colon. When you give a gift today, your dollars will be doubled. Your gift will go twice as far. So instead of helping one family, you're going to save two families. You kind of, when you talk about a match, you want to talk about it in terms of like, what does it do? The match, that's jargon. What does the match do? My impact is doubled. So you'll see that they mentioned it's from the Mar Lot, Mar whatever. It's the, the Malot Family Foundation. That's fine, if you have to mention it, you mention it. I would say I would not put who's doing the match in a high traffic position. I would do it maybe in the middle of the email. Don't put it in the PS, don't put it in the beginning of the email, don't put it in bolded text. That's not as important to your donor. Now, as more families look to the Red Cross to support them through increasingly devastating disasters, will you please give now to have your donation doubled? That's probably one of the better things in this email. Will you please give now? You'll see in many emails they say pray for us and if you'd like, Give a donation. Don't say that. Just say, will you please give a gift today to do blank. They will also say, would you consider? Don't ask them to consider. Ask them to give. So one strong thing here is, will you please give now, not later, today, to have your donation doubled for people in need? They also said, why give today? Well, it's going to help someone in need and it's going to be doubled. Now, remember, people want to help one person. That's far more compelling to help one person versus all the people. It's important to remember that when you can position it as helping one person. Your gift will not only help a family like this, but support all Red Cross operations. See what I'm saying? That'll also make it undesignated. Watch my previous video. No, we've taken a detour. It's saying when you give 125 or more, we'll send you an indoor weather station in recognition of your generosity. Freemiums, freemiums, freemiums. Do you want me to do a video on it? Let me know. Freemiums are fine. They're also very good for acquisition. However, the concern is always, number one, they pull smaller gift amounts in from people who don't stick around as long as it's a big concern. Now, it's great to reward your donors. However, I'm just going to say a match is compelling enough. Matches always lift results. Every single time. A so because matches are that powerful, I wouldn't be offering a freemium with a gift. It's not necessary. It also makes it very confusing. I thought that the match was the key thing. I thought it's giving day. So we've got multiple things we've got. Giving day, match, some thermometer thing for 125 or more. The only good thing about the 125 is it's an anchor, you know? So it's like, okay, 125 does something. 
what does it do? And then you see a button. Now, there are lots of buttons in here. Great, you wanna put one at the top, the middle, the bottom, throughout. The concern is, first of all, you always wanna opt for saying gift. Uh, I'm gonna include an image of something from the agitator. They've done some testing, but ultimately, regardless of, regard, it's close. Donation and gift both perform well. They recommend always saying gift. I do as well, it's very relational language. But the problem is when you have all these buttons, it feels very, it feels very cold. When possible, it's not bad, but when possible, you wanna use language that reflects the outcome that that gift will, will make happen. So when possible, it could be like, I wanna help a family or I wanna save a raccoon. I wanna do this. Um, whenever you can put it in first person and make it about the outcome, it's best. It's not awful, but I will say we do know that like doing a raw link tends to feel more human and it can perform much better than buttons. Play with it. Whew. We have a little bit more text. The good thing is not super text heavy, but it's clunky. Like I can't, a skimmer is gonna have a hard time. Now they did repeat the beginning. Every year thousands of supporters like you turn their compassion to action. The repetition of the language is very good. I'd say this last paragraph is probably the strongest. It says, please, with this critical 200K matching gift deadline rapidly approaching, will you make a giving day gift now to help deliver essential disaster relief to communities impacted by disasters being a small? Your generosity can meet everything to a family facing their darkest moments. It's not great, but it is the better part of this because the, the one sad thing is, what's the deadline? You want to mention the deadline. Is the deadline 11.59 tonight? You know, the deadline's important. And while they're mentioning the deadline, the question is, what is the deadline? Now, the good thing is they mention the deadline, then they ask me for what they want me to do. It's all there. This is summarizing the whole thing. Will you make a giving day gift now? Why does it have to be a giving day gift now? But either way, it just said, will you make a gift today? Have it doubled to bring double the help or to help double the families that have been hurt by disasters. It's really wordy. If you were to plug this into Hemingway or a, I'm saying it wrong every single time. I call it the Flesh Kincaid calculator. I know that's not correct. I like that one. It's used in journalism. Tom Hearn uses that one. That's the one I like to use now. However, plug this into one of those tools. You'll see it reads at a much higher grade level than it should. Third grade reading level. Third, y'all. That performs best in some testing that's been done by email platforms. Should it read at a third grade level? It will have a higher conversion rate. It's not about intelligence. It's about readability and then accessibility. Can everyone skim this? Either way, it's kind of wordy which will reduce readability. Um, the good thing is, again, it's linked. So the great, thing, the great thing about this is I could click very many things and I could give. That's huge. You don't wanna have any, any hyperlinks going anywhere besides that donation page. I will say go to the bottom. You do see four social links. When you wanna raise funds, keep the only link. The only option should be go to the donation page. That's it. So who am I? Well, I'm Daniel Wallace. I'm the owner of Grow Better. I help small to mid-sized nonprofits optimize their fundraising results. I will, I will say most small nonprofits, they are thinking, they're just thinking about the day, getting through the day, getting through the week. If you choose to invest in your fundraising, you will find not only do the funds that come in improve, everything improves. The internal environment, the programs, your donors are happier. Invest in your fundraising, invest in development, and invest in training. All the money in the world is out there. It could be yours. It's all about crafting a message to appeal to your donor that encourages them, inspires them to give. So if you're one of those nonprofits that has enough insight to go, you know what, we're doing good, we could do better. Book a call with me, there's a link in bio. Would love to meet you, hear what you need, and uh, we will talk next week.